In less than an hour from now, the execution process will begin for Kenneth Eugene Smith to die by nitrogen hypoxia. It's the first known execution using this method. Smith, one of three men convicted in a murder for hire plot back in 1988, and the victim was Elizabeth Sennett. News 19's Lauren Layton sat down with her sons. And tonight they reflect on the past three decades without their mother, the role their father played in the crime, and the brothers say they never thought they'd have to return to Atmore to watch a second attempt to execute Smith. It's like a split second. It's like a split second. Chuck Sennett was 25 when his mother Elizabeth was murdered. Mom was just a homemaker, kind, nurturing. We was there every day after school, you know, growing up. You know, we never missed uh, a time with her and daddy. Chuck's brother Mike was 23. Chuck got the news before I did. Daddy called me at work. Yeah, Chuck called me at work, said something happened to mom at the farm. Get out here quick. Elizabeth was stabbed and badly beaten in what first appeared to be a robbery at the family's home. They take her to the hospital and we sit there for a while and then they invite you up to the second floor, which is, which is where they deliver the bad news. In the coming days, law enforcement began to look at her husband and the boy's father, Charles. He confessed to his family. He was responsible for Elizabeth's death. He was having an affair and he paid three men to carry out the murder. You know, he, he said, you know, I, I failed a lie detector test. He said, you know, I've been involved with somebody else and uh, <laughs> we're, we're taking all this in, can't believe it. After he told his family, they moved outside and Charles took his own life. Pow, you hear it. Uh, firecracker. He's in his truck. Uh, where he shot himself. That was seven days after mom, mm -hmm. mom got killed. Friday to Friday. Yeah, lost them both in seven days, yeah. One don't know how much you can take until you go through something like that. I asked them how they continue to cope with those memories. It's not a burden no more. Yeah. The burden is what's going on down at the state. That's the burden. Chuck is talking about the upcoming execution of Kenneth Smith. He's the last of the men responsible for Elizabeth's death who's still alive. Billy Gray Williams died in prison while serving a life sentence. John Forrest Parker executed in 2010. Smith, meanwhile, has been on death row for decades. His execution has gained international attention because he's being put to death using a never before tested method. He'll die by nitrogen hypoxia after requesting it in 2022. They didn't ask mama what method she wanted, you know? He just done it. So what, why are we having to go through this with him, you know? This will be the Senate's second time going to Atmore to watch Smith die. The Department of Corrections tried to execute him in 2022 using a lethal injection. After hours of trying, the medical team called off the execution. It was a long ride at home. You know, what if this, what if, why? You know, we, we couldn't figure it out. They're ready to move forward. If it's successful, it, it'll bring closure for us. We maybe can put it behind us. They're family too. Yeah, and uh, forget about it. Not forget about mom and them, but just forget about, you know, what happened. In Colbert County, Lauren Layton, News 19. The window for Smith's execution opened at midnight. Alabama Department of Corrections is scheduled to bring him into the chamber at 6 o'clock. Smith's legal team has asked the U.S. Supreme Court to stop it, and just before 2 this afternoon, Smith's attorneys filed an emergency petition with the Supreme Court to stay the execution, saying the method of the execution creates a risk that he could be left in a vegetative state, experience a stroke, or choke to death. Wednesday, the Supreme Court rejected a separate request from Smith's legal team, which argued a second attempt to execute Smith constitutes cruel and unusual punishment. The court rejected the argument without comment. News 19's Lauren Layton was selected as one of five media witnesses for the execution. She will deliver any updates as she can throughout the night.